I saw someone have a question on this particular issue on the Adobe eLearning community, and I received an email the other day uh, from a potential client looking for the same solution. So I thought I'd make a video about it and share it with all of you as well. So here's the issue. In Adobe Captivate, you basically have two possible results at the end of your quiz. You either uh, pass or you fail. And uh, if I go into the preferences window here, I just want to show you where this shows up as those two possibilities. If I click on the quiz results messages, you'll notice that there are two possible uh, messages. You either pass or you fail. It's that simple. Um, if I go to the pass or fail subcategory within quiz, you can see I can set a number of attempts. So if I decided I wanted to set the number of attempts at two tries of the quiz, uh, I will show a retake button the first attempt and uh, allow someone to take a final attempt at the quiz. But there's no opportunity to provide different messages uh, for each of those attempts uh, in this case. But um, what I'm proposing is a solution using a little bit of advanced action and a modification to my uh, custom quiz results slide that I've done videos on in the past. So let me show you how that works. So here's the standard quiz results slide. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, I'm not going to actually use the built-in quiz results messages. So I'm just going to move this uh, mostly off of my screen. Uh, if I recall, this needs to be on your stage to a degree. So I just have it covering a couple of pixels at the bottom. I also don't need these, uh, these uh, individual uh, values uh, showing up. So I'm just going to delete those and turn those off. And now I'm going to build my custom quiz results slide. So this is going to be a combination of a, a smart shape used as a text caption as well as uh, a background image of, of a kid showing you the appropriate facial reaction to the results of your quiz. So in this case here, I've got the uh, success image that I'll place on the stage here. And I'll just use my alignment toolbar. If you don't have your alignment toolbar open, you can select it right from the window drop-down menu. It's quite useful when you're working with various objects on screen. I'm also going to make sure that it's in the lowest background layer. And we're going to add, of course, a shape as well. And we're going to use this uh, call out shape and put the arrow pointing towards the kid here. And uh, let's first of all make sure that both of these objects have a name. I'm going to call the background image results image. And we'll call this shape here, we'll call it, um, let's just make it a little bit larger here. We'll call it uh, results caption. And we need to add some, uh, some text, of course, to the caption. So again, this is the success result. So we're going to say, um, you passed. I don't need to capitalize the P. You scored, and here's where you can use the insert variable button in your properties inspector underneath the style tab. Uh, this will allow you to use any of the system or user variables that are available to you. In this case here, it's a system variable I'm looking for. And what I'm looking for is CP info percentage, which is right there. I don't need to worry about the maximum length here because it will only be no more than three characters. Click OK and that gets added to my caption. Uh, it will only show the number of the percentage, so I'm going to add the percent sign next to it here, period, and we'll say you may now exit this course. I'm going to actually do a little bit of line spacing here just so it's easier to read and that's pretty much good to go so now let's make some alternate uh, states 
for these and they will become multi-state objects. So let's select the kid first of all and select state view and let's add an additional state. Now this first state will be first failure. So our, we've, we've not successfully completed the quiz but we've only attempted it one time. So we'll do this and we'll change the image using this button here which actually references the name of the image file. And we'll select a different image from our select image from library window that comes up. We'll use this one here. He looks totally disgusted by the first performance at the quiz here, so that's fine. And let's do our final. This is when we run out of tries. Uh, our final state, and we'll call it out of tries. And in this case here, we'll choose the third image that I've selected. And, and of course, not only is he disgusted, he's totally embarrassed by your performance. So, <laughs> just kidding, of course. Let's exit that uh, particular multi-state object. And we'll do uh, the similar thing to the caption as well. So we'll select the caption and we'll go into state view here and we'll create our first failure message and we'll modify this to say you were not successful you scored whatever percentage um, press the retake quiz button to try again okay and that works fine and we'll create another stain and this will be the out of tries message and again we'll say you were not successful you scored whatever percentage Please see your manager or HR department for, for instructions. Okay, so we'll click Exit State now, and we now have our two different multi-state objects. What we need now is our advanced action that's going to run on entry of this slide and it will determine and show the appropriate state for both of these objects here. So uh, let's go into on enter uh, under the actions tab here, select execute advanced actions. We don't have any script so far, but we'll go ahead and create this by clicking on the folder icon. First of all, we need a name for this advanced action. Uh, results slide will be an appropriate name and uh, this first decision will be um, when the user makes a first attempt but fails the quiz. We don't need to worry about success because the normal state of both of these multi-state objects uh, will appear by default. So we just need to worry about the two types of failure messages that we need to create. So we'll call this decision point first failure. And again, this is a conditional action. We're going to be looking at the values of two different system variables. Um, in this case here, the first one is uh, CP quiz info pass failed. And you can just start typing that in until it's the only option there and then select it. And uh, CP quiz info pass fail can have two values. It has a value of one if you've successfully completed the quiz. It has a value of zero if you failed the quiz. So we're going to check to see if you failed the quiz is equal to the literal value zero. The other thing we want to check is uh, another system variable called CP quiz info attempts. 
there it is there. Now, if this uh, particular system variable is equal to, in this case, one, we're going to run the appropriate actions for this particular advanced actions. In this case, it's going to be to change the state of our results caption to our first failure message and to change the state of our results image to the first failure image that we set up earlier. So that's done for this decision point. And the second decision point is very similar to this. So we can actually use the duplicate decision button here and duplicate this. And we'll just give this a decision point a new name here. We'll call this out of tries. And we're going to just change the value of the if portion of the statement to the literal value two. So in other words, this is your second attempt at the quiz and you failed it once again. And in this case here, we're going to change the multi-state objects that we set up before uh, from first failure to out of tries. And that's pretty much good to go. Let's save this as an action. Click OK. Click Close. Make sure our on interaction is pointing to that particular results uh, uh, script. And now we should be able to test it out and see how it works. So let's preview this project in HTML5. So in this case, I only have one question for this quiz, and I'll answer it incorrectly first. And you can see that we get the appropriate message and the appropriate image for that message. You were not successful. You scored 0%. Press the retake quiz button to try again. Uh, let's do that now. Let's try another attempt. In this case, I'll try a different wrong answer and submit it. And of course, now we get um, our out of tries message. So we're not successful. We got 0%. Retake quiz is no longer available, but the message instruct, instructs us, please see your manager or HR department for instructions. Let's refresh this and just see, uh, make sure that it works for the successful situation as well. So the question is, who became Prime Minister of Canada in 2015? The correct answer is Justin Trudeau. We'll hit Submit, click anywhere to continue. And as you can see, we passed, we scored 100%, and we may now exit the course. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.